गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार सत्याकाल एन आदाब दिस इज माय 255th वीडियो एंड दिस विल बी कवरिंग अंबाला एक्सेशन एंड फर्दर ऑन फ्रॉम 1934 टू 1977 1955 डावे रिपोर्ट व्हाट हैज चेंज इन अंबाला कंट्रोल एंड आई विल शेयर दिस नाउ now this is very important for all the nsc area excise area there are a lot of people who are very highly educated in this nsc area of ambala you know i'll share every feeling of mine because i got involved in 2015 when i through the court orders won my excise area property which was a commercial property in the name of my hotel now I remember in 1987 when I was wanting to get my leasehold building, which I am now in possession. When my father was alive, I wanted to get my plans approved by the Ambala municipality. And you know, I yet remember there was an ex-employee of the Cant Board, some Sadarji Guruji or Gurpalji. You know, since he had come from the Department Cantonment Board and was re-employed by the Mbala Sadar uh, Municipal Corporation or uh, municipality, he was bent that none of the properties were from 1977 to 87 to be muted, because he kept saying admission deeds after. Because his mindset was of the colonial period, you know, the army, the British, like. without admission deed without this without permission no sale can take place no plans to be approved so these things he kept doing luckily in 1987 bansilal ji was the chief minister of haryana and my father's relation known in 18, 1977 i could walk into bansilal ji's office straight like a son now ministry of defense the sdm or the dc or the uh administrator of amala were categorically stating that no mr das we cannot sanction your plan you apply but there is no proviso in our uh, municipal policies that the excised nac area can do this so no permissions no mutation the property was still standing in the name of the uh, muslim who had actually left for pakistan in 1947 and this was an evacue property so these hurdles i remember were just too bad and just 10 years had passed since accession had taken place so i am trying to tell those people who are very excited accession will happen things will change you know wonders will happen in your bloody area containment bullshit because i was close to the chief minister i played a role and i got an order verbal as well as written to the dc ambala that tell the administrator to mark the proposal to the dc for approval i remember mr kasni at that time was the administrator of ambala and he was least willing on this uh, sardar ji's opinion right he gave a note on my file you know and these notes given by these clerks sdos becomes very dangerous at times because they do, they cannot be overruled then so there has to be a full procedure of overruling these kind of notes so this sadar ji made a note on my file because my father was very powerful so he had a some i think vengeance against my father i don't know why but i remember he used to be he was a shit man you know i'll be very honest so I approached Bansilal ji the DC was told I remember Mr Rajdan was then the DC Ambala and finally the administrator Mr Kasni marked my building plans and taking of lease money of this property which was 0.86 and I had only 500 1000 square yards of it so of this entire money which had to be paid which was I think nominally I think was 10 12 rupees or something i was willing to pay the entire money for 0.86 uh, holding of this one chunk of lease so finally this plan went to the dc the dc approved the plan by a written order that i am marking this case to the legislative of the state government haryana 
for a policy being drafted for the NAC area whether mutations in plans have to be sanctioned. Friends, I don't hesitate in saying that I was the first sanctioned plan where I deposited the fees of NAC area, I deposited the lease money of my property and I got myself mutated in the name of SS Das under tax purpose 82 of the Haryana Municipal Act. But finally this was done. How many people are close to the Chief Minister or the DC? We will keep bribing that means. Work doesn't happen and I, rem I know, I, I'll just share what I did in 2018 from 1987 but for some reasons, family disputes, I could not get my uh, hotel made at that time. So, the mutation was finally done, lease money was paid, building plans were done and recently in 2015 when I again after the High Court order got this property after my father's death, you will be stuck in surprise. From my father to me, my company which was a hotel which was physically in existence of this bungalow property, to get the mutation done, I had to give an admission deed under GGO 179. Just imagine, <laughs> land belongs to government. In uh, 1987, I gave no admission deed. But in 2018, I gave an admission deed. You know, some people are living in a fool's paradise. I, I know some people from most of the cantonment civil area, they are so excited. I don't know, these leaders don't even know anything. Yeah. They only know that from men, men in uniform, we are shifting to men in civil. That's all. So, it was great. The accession is being done. The madness is all over. And this government has created a hype since 2070 of renewal of leases, making of a new CLA rules. Now, the Contonement Act is also being amended 2006. So, what is this government up to? Some One way it is saying now we are excising. What are you doing? You know, this government is full of jumlas and lollipops without. I totally would not hesitate in saying that this government and the people, the, you know, the higher hierarchy, they can actually sell a comb to a, bl a blonde, yeah, a black guy who has got no hair. I didn't. So, I am just waking you up. Now, imagine what happened during this period of 1977 to 2021 to get freehold rights. So, I remember in, 80, in 1987, when I got hotel as an industry declared in um, Haryana, which was not earlier, with the, Bans uh, with the then Chief Minister, uh, uh, late Bansi Lalji, I got a policy drafted that we will have to pay 200 square yards per of our land holding and each transfer, let's say from A to B, B to C, if there are two transfer, each transfer we'll, we will be paying 10,000 rupees. Let's say if my property has two transfers, I will have to shell out an additional amount to 200 rupees per square yard, 20,000 rupees. Why is enough? Nobody came forward and this policy could not be taken to its final conclusion. So, this policy of 200 got redundant. Now, I will share what happened on this policy, which was drafted in the legislative of Haryana then. In 2000, the local MLA then, when I think Mr. Chotala was the chief minister, and he being an, I think, an independent MLA, he got the same 200 rupees policy drafted in a slightly different format that 160 of small holding of, I think, 20 square yards or 30 square yards plus 60 rupees as development charges, which comes out to 200 rupees. And uh, areas of Bandunagar, Balmiki colony, Bazigar colony, FCI Godown area, Deh colony, uh, Dera Basti, BC Bazar colony, Gujarati Dhaka Basti, 
जॉन साहब की डिग्गी की बस्ती जुलाहा बस्ती रामबाग रोड बस्ती रंगिया मंडी बस्ती ऑल दीज बस्तीज विच वो होल्डिंग क्लास फोर और स्मॉलर प्लॉट व कन्वर्टेड इन टू फ्री होल्ड बाई दिस लेटर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ हरियाणा डेटेड फिफ्टींथ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड टू ऑल दीज होल्डिंग्स व फ्री होल्डेड वाई वाई आंट वी बींग फ्री होल्डेड इन दैट सेम कंडीशन वाई वॉज इन दी एन एस सी मेजर एरिया बींग कन्वर्टेड दीज वर ऑल दोज एरियाज वेर एक्चुअली दे वॉर सिटिंग ऑन क्लास सी और गवर्नमेंट लैंड वी आर ऑन बी थ्री लैंड सो दिस पॉलिसी लेटर नंबर एट डैश फिफ्टी सिक्स डैश जीरो थ्री जीरो सिक्स डैश वन डेटेड ट्वेंटियथ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड थ्री राय मार्केट और रंधावा मार्केट ऑक्यूपेंस ऑफ क्लास सी लैंड वर गिवन फ्री होल्ड राइट अगेन ऑन वॉट सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज टू बी पेड पर स्क्वेयर यार्ड ऑफ योर थर्टी टू फोर्टी स्क्वेयर यार्ड एरिया होल्डिंग एंड लॉट मेनी पीपल गॉट दम सेल्फ कन्वर्टेड आई बिलीव दीज पीपल लिविंग इन ढे कॉलोनीज और दीज ब्रंगिया मंडी कॉलोनीज और दीज संधावा मार्केट आर मच बेटर टू वॉट वी पीपल आर आज एज ओल्ड ग्रांड और लीज होल्ड राइट इज फॉर द लास्ट हंड्रेड ईयर्स वी आर नॉट एनक्रोचर ऑन क्लास सी लैंड वी आर नॉट एनक्रोचर ऑन क्लास बी फोर लैंड और ए वन लैंड But there is nothing. So finally, understand, friends. Nothing is coming forward after accession of getting you free hold. If we have to revert back to the Ministry of Defence policy only of STR and forty times of the value, then what is the point? You know, please understand. So finally, now what happened? the present government the bjp government in 2021 came up with a policy government of haryana department urban local bodies notification number 0804 2021 ici dated 1st june 2021 policy for sale of shops houses by municipal bodies where possession of such properties is with entities other than that of municipal bodies or predecessors for a period of 20 or more years so anybody who was in occupants of a property which was actually government property it is trying to say you can become the owner of that property under section 164 of the haryana municipal corporation act 199 section 62 of the haryana municipal 1973 act now fine but was this proper uh, policy drafted for ambala nac area where you are governed by the 1977 conditions of uh, accession and freehold terms there was a clause if you remember in my video i showed when you ex- are the nac or the administration of the nac area is willing to transfer freehold rights what he has to do he has to reimburse 50% of the money to the ministry of defense so whether this policy holds on to that conditions and various other conditions that we will read now so this is a very important video for all the ambala excised area bungalow people whether 1 to 12 cross road 150 acres of land now what is the eligibility area same if you are in occupation for 20 years or more we guys have been in occupation since uh, 1843 some old grants in the bazaar area lease hold properties of 1899 or 1925 37 now procedure to apply was very simple you go on a portal of the haryana government and there you will upload all your uh, documents in possession whether it is uh, anything so that your 20 years uh, rider of possession can be con- uh, taken on so all these documentary proofs will be self attested they say so this policy can only be taken by or benefited by those people who been in possession of the property for 20 years and more okay 
सो वॉट इज योर बिल्टअप एरिया क्यूमुलेटिव एरिया कार्पेट एरिया एफ ए आर एनी अनऑथराइज एनी कोर्ट केसेज एवरी थिंग हैज टू बी टोल्ड सो वेर इज दो सैंक्शन प्लान वी डोंट हैव दो सैंक्शन प्लान सो बिकॉज इन एक्साइज एरिया आई जस्ट मैंशन यू इन एटीन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन और लेटर आई जस्ट टेल यू इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन हाउ आई टू गेट माई सैंक्शन डन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग प्लान सो डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट शैल बी कंसिडर्ड एज सफिशेंट प्रूफ to establish your possession other than municipal bodies is that you share allotment letters we have our leases we have we don't have our old grant document we have our glr part now that glr has to be attested by the do or the meo or the co any transfer sale lead so 1977 to 2021 makes it about 43 years so 20 years we we all in ambala fit into it so entire 150 acres could have been made freehold so that has to be seen what is the house tax we are paying house tax what is the electricity bill we have an electricity meter we have a water connection so all these were proofs any other documentary whether you are holding a commercial property you are running a sales tax number or you have a gst number now any it returns of the shop anything so these all create your possessory rights for the 20 year so most of the people had this now the time frame was designed that once the decision is made what you have to do is you have to within 15 days pay your 25% of the money for converting yourself from lease or old grant or illegal occupation of government property 25% has to be paid in 15 and the balance in next 90 days now this policy which was made in 2021 had some uh, draft uh, regarding the liabilities which people will be paying 20 years and to the last 50 years in maximum now what is that how the calculation of 25% of the value would come out this is basically done on your conveyance deeds will be made on the base rate now base rate is basically the collector rate now let's say if you are in in the possession of a property for 20 to 25 years you will be paying 80% of your collector rate which is uh, in your property now if you are between 25 to 30 years you shall be paying somewhere 75% and if it is 30 to 35 years you shall pay 70% of your collector rate now if you are 35 to 40 years in possession you will pay 65% of your collector rate now going to 40 years and 45 years so the slab is actually growing 5 5 years you will pay 60 45 to 50 years you will pay 55% and if you are in possession of 50 years and above you will pay 50% of your collector rate acceptable the policy has been drafted for whole of haryana not exclusively for ambala how the whole system goes the circle rate of the relevant category of land as on date on which demand notice will be subjected to you let's say it is subjected 2 months 3 months 6 months later at that time what is the collector rate you will have to pay verified area of the land under possession approved by the uh, government occupier seller competent authority all documents are verified so let's say i'll give you an example of ambala cantonment this policy was for haryana and ambala is the only cantonment which is in haryana so my collector rate of rai market is approximately 50000 rupees in 2021 which i got from the uh, district revenue officer it was 50000 square yards per so my plot is 500 square yards 50% of it if it has to be it is 1.25 cr which i will be paying for conversion of a 500 square yard plot to the government of haryana 50 years i have been in possession i have basically been in possession for 19 and above years as per my lease also and as per the cantonment 1843 making so areas of transfer 
in each case the occupant or the appellant in favor uh, the property is to be transferred by the executive conveyance deed executing a conveyance deed and every transfer same condition which was done in 1887 will be subjected to a one time composition of 30000 rupees every transfer so total liability worked out will be of these sections a b c d policy conditions of valuation my areas my uh, conversion charges my one time charges my commercial activity charges my collector rate charges so friends this is how my property finally after paying 1.25 cr will be made freehold so approximately all these charges are being debited to me the same policy if we go by the rule even gave a new system it says let's say if you are not interested in getting yourself converted into freehold then what happens it said that the revaluation of rental so now i become a tenant whether i am an old grant lease anything i will become a tenant of the haryana government or the nsa area of the southern municipality the policy happens to be one time amnesty policy if taken good if not taken the policy cannot come back to you if you do not it does not compromise the privilege of the municipal bodies in favor of so even if i get converted into freehold my house taxes will not go my any charges will not go they'll all remain now if i become a tenant now what happen let's say if the policy declines my proposal i do not want to get converted so my status will be converted into rental so what is the amount i will pay let's say if there is any illegal construction in raised in my premises Sal, such illegal construction uh, illegal construction first has to be removed then a, uh, whatever land in excess of the grant is in occupation of me has to be handed over or demolished or retrieved back to the municipality so these things have to be done now the rent the rent shall be after implementation fresh rent annually equal to area of uh, actual land holding after removal of encroachments multiplied by the collector rate at commercial value land in vicinity multiplied by the highest rate of interest of an fd so this is how my collector rate will be or my rentals will be calculated now how is the rentals calculated in the cantonment it is calculated in the name of str plus the static rate or the do can in, in, uh, enforce on commercial value rates highly commercial property then this property goes into my annual renting now let's presume 50 Uh, 500 square yards of my bung property in rai market the annual value is about 2.5 crores static rate works out to be 1000 times let's say the value is 500 5 crores now so what will be the highest rate of interest in on an fd as on date let's presume 9% annually so i'll have to pay 4 and a half 5 lakh rupees per annum to the state government so i will become a rented property on an annual basis now whether this remains for 5 years 10 years or 90 years is a question so fresh leases will be done in clause e and application will be taken on now there is nothing in this policy which says that this will be done for 1 year 5 years or till the next collector rate or every year it will be changing so friends we need to understand things are not good everybody in ambala was going to the mla uh, present mla they were literally begging whole of bank road railway road rai market people they used to get together one morning somebody known to the mla in sadar bazar who's holding another hotel would take them there finally there is a meeting and then the mla would shun them out by saying this policy is not drafted by me i can't talk to my chief minister 
people you would come back again have meetings i remember i attended two of these meeting and i kept telling these people please understand the state government after 1977 accession does not have the right as per the judgment of the 127 bungalow owner bank road how are they actually selling us this property as illegal occupants why are we terming ourselves as illegal occupant nobody in this excised area of ambala supported this idea of mine and they were just rani ji we are not looking for a lengthy solution we are not looking to go to court we don't want to fight we are we are willing to beg we are willing to become beggars and things like this kept hap- happening i finally went to the high court under a writ against this policy of 2021 and imagine i have that cv recording on those days the uh, writs were taken up on computers cvs so the chief and then uh, the double bench clearly asked my advocate and me that till you don't get a notice of 1.25 crores mr das please withdraw your writ this writ is not specially designed for ambala which you are exhibitively uh, speaking in your writ it is made for the whole of other haryana than ambala cantonment so i requested the chief and the honorable court that pass a speaking order this is no then we'll have to pass a motion of notice and this entire policy will become on a status quo courts would the, i remember i told you table tennis one side is the executive the other side is the legislative so legislative makes a policy 2021 and the executive is willing to adhere to that policy and finally impose it on us and where is the judiciary where i went in a writ judiciary is seeing that we being hit so judiciary says mr das when this executive finally hits you with a one slaps you with a 1.25 cr notice then you come to us i am here with you why should i wait the day when i am being murdered or somebody is following me i am apprehending that this might happen you give a order no so friends understand it's very difficult it's not at all easy to get relief so 47 years have gone you know water has flown mlas don't want to do anything i'm asking a question to my local mlas can any of the now since we have elections in haryana can any of my representatives who are standing for a mla ambala cantonment seat promise the nac area something for themselves after 47 years of facing shit nobody will get up and do anything if they want to do the government of haryana will not to allow us to do something because we are a lone cantonment if the haryana government is willing to do something maybe the ministry of defense will spoke into its 1977 clause of 50% and various conditions of construction height because of the air force station what are we actually doing even if i get my cld done i am not allowed to construct my far will be as per the cantonment bylaws what is this nothing friends please ask for full accession don't live in a fancy i'm requesting all of you and i'm specially making these videos so that these can circulate in ambala circle of the excised area people should float them and let people in the nac area sadar bazar topkhana bi bazar bc bazar understand कि भैया आपका लोकल एम एल ए क्या करना चाहता है आपके लिए आप उससे कोई सवाल पूछ रहे हैं आप उसको कह रहे हैं कि जी आप सैतालीस साल हो गए हम जब इस कंटोनमेंट से एक्साइज हुए थे आपने आज तक हमें लैंड राइट्स नहीं दिए आज तक आप हमारी म्यूटेशन मॉडगेज डीज सेल डीज नहीं होने देते हर चीज पर राइडर लगा हुआ है जब टैक्स लेना है तो टैक्सेशन पॉलिसी हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट की लगा देते हो जब कलेक्टर रेट कैलकुलेट करना है तो आप लैंड की वैल्यू लगा देते हो क्या कर रहे हो आप आप हमें क्लियरली बताओ तो हमारे तो फिक्स सवाल हैं मेरी नेक्स्ट वीडियो उसी के ऊपर है मैंने पर्पसली ये बात हिंदी में बोली बहुत लोग मुझे बोलते हैं रोनी जी आपकी अंग्रेजी नहीं समझ आती पूछो अपने लोकल एम से जो इलेक्शन लड़ रहा है 
चाहे वो कांग्रेस का है बीजेपी का है इंडिपेंडेंट है किसी भी पार्टी से है ये सवाल पूछना हमारा फर्ज बनता है बिकॉज हम ओल्ड ग्रांट थे कभी भी हमें न्यू ग्रांट में नहीं कन्वर्ट करा गया क्योंकि हम रेवेन्यू फ्री ग्रांट्स थे थैंक यू गुड डे